All right, everyone, V Jose for you back again. Right now, I'm going to be looking at this the Deland Automatic Point Guards deck. And let me tell you, it is basically the same as this $100 deck. And the French says Deland's Automatic Point Cards, SS Adams Company, Neptune, New Jersey, printed in Taiwan. On this side, the lands automatic cards. On this side, the lands automatic cards as well. On the top, the lands automatic. On the bottom, same thing. The lands automatic. And the back, you see the back design, which is roughly identical to this one, except for the color might be slightly different. And has the same copyright. 1913 by TL Deland. And the same, everything, same symbol, same circles, and markings. One thing that's different is it has no seal, as you can see, like this one does. And it does not have the same slot here for your finger. So it's a little bit cheaper. It's not USB-C like this one is. And you pull it out. First thing you notice is this card that tells you the actual order of the cards that it's set up and it comes preset in a specific order and there's the back of the cards the same as these other ones and then you get two jokers this one is your standard Arco Streamline Tahoe Joker in black and white with plastic coated on his hat in red nothing too special there this one is the same, except that he is yellow with a red mouth. Kind of weird. Looks like he's sick. Looks like he's got liver problems or something. And then we got the cards. I think they're still in the same setup. I'm not sure. The reason for the setup is so that you can identify cards. You can identify which card is on top. Um, let me see here. But to remember this card should be the free of spades. Oh no, wait, free of hearts. I was close. And I can tell that by you can see the location here on this circle. And then the center tells you the suit. And it also tells me I can tell you which bottom card is on this deck somewhere. If I could figure it out which one it was now. Obviously it's this one. It's just telling me it's a king. I already saw it's a king of something. It is the king of clubs. If I cut the cards I can tell you. The top card here is. Three. Of diamonds. Yeah. And the bottom card now I can tell you is a king of spades. So they're marked, you have to you know memorize the markings kind of this one. The top card is king, or sorry, um, six of hearts. Perfect. And the bottom card now is going to be the three, the uh, free of clubs perfect so it works every time with this order you can tell which card is on top which card is on the bottom you're also supposed to be able to tell how many cards are in a stack or whatever it is I forget exactly everything but there is instructions that come with it much like the other deck the deck is also stripped so you can easily pull out a card or two cards, whatever it may be, that are the wrong way. Just like a stripper deck. It's marked, it's stripped, or beveled, whatever you prefer to call it. And, see if I can remember what else was in this deck. It's also apparently a one way design. I'm not sure how, but that's what it is. It's beveled. 
Well, actually, I don't think this one's one way. That's the Apex Bomb. But this one is definitely beveled and marked in a very special way. And in a certain order, you can tell what cards on top, what cards on bottom. You can cut the cards, do it again. So it's a pretty cool deck to have. Quality, and this one though, it's lacking a little bit. It does not fan very well. Doesn't seem to want to dribble that well. It's not too bad for dribbling. Spreading isn't too bad, but fanning is a little bit of an issue. <clears throat> and the stock, you know, it appears to be a smooth finish. Stock. Or finish, I should say. Stock is a little bit thin, but not bad. Overall, if I was going to tell you to pick up a deck of cards like this, I would tell you to pick up the other one. The, the Lands $100 deck, because you can actually find these on eBay fairly easily on Merge 67 and in Magic Swaps as well. And they are USPC, so they're good quality Z deck, good flaps. They do come with the Million Dollar Monty gimmick, as you can see. It does have a Joker. They fan out nicely. They are beveled. They are marked in the exact same way. And they work the exact same way if you have it set up in a certain order as specified by that card. And you know, overall, it's a much better quality deck. So if you're going to pick one up, pick up the $100 deck, which I did a review on recently. It's the exact same thing as far as I can tell as the automatic deck, except it does come with a couple of bonus gaff cards and only one joker, which is in there somewhere. While the automatic cards just come with two jokers and no gaff cards. These ones are better, like I said, just simply because it is bicycle or USPC playing cards, much better quality, <coughs> and a much nicer box <coughs> with this flap, with this thumb thing here, so you can pull out the flap easy. And it's a lot easier to find. This one is an older deck, harder to find, and obviously not as good quality box or cards. But exact same thing, if you can't find one and not the other, fine, by all means, get the automatic deck. But you should have no problem finding this one. Whereas this one, it will be harder to find. So my recommendation is, pick one up, pick one of these up, not these, unless you can't find the $100 deck. Pretty good deck nonetheless. And I recommend picking it up because it is, like I said, beveled, marked. And you can even, if you have it in the correct order, tell what card's top, what card's bottom, and so forth. And there's all sorts of things you can do with it. And it comes with great instructions. So that is my review on those decks. I will see you next time. Ciao for now. And before I go, don't forget to check out the Collab Channel Power, Group of Power, I should say. Don't forget to check out PokerStub52 on eBay if you need any kind of playing cards. <clears throat> or poker supplies. I think he's got different poker supplies as well. And don't forget about my contests. All right. See you next time. Ciao for now. <laughs> That's kind of cool.